So it's official. Billy Joe Saunders will defend his WBO World Super Middleweight title on the undercard of the KSI Logan Paul rematch. Now, some people are saying this is kind of a humiliating situation for Billy Joe because he's a world champion and he's on the undercard of YouTubers. I don't think it is humiliating. At the end of the day, millions of people are going to tune in to watch this. And Billy Joel needs that kind of exposure. This guy's been fighting in leisure centers. I think he's fought at a copper box a few times. He's been lacking exposure when he was with Frank Warren, when he was on Box Nation and BT Sport. Now putting him on the undercard of KSI Logan Paul, loads of exposure, more exposure than he's ever had before. And in the United States as well. So I think it's great for Billy Joel. Billy Joel seems to be happy about it. I've seen some people say that this, you know, Matchroom putting this fight on is kind of a desperate move by Matchroom and DAZN. Possibly, but whatever works, works. You know, at the end of the day, the people behind DAZN, right? The, the, the group which owns DAZN, they want results. They don't care how you get the results. They just want the results. They want to hit targets in terms of subscriptions. And so if it takes you putting on KSI versus Logan Paul to hit them targets, then so be it. I don't see how this damages boxing. Yeah, it's unusual to have two YouTubers fight top of the bill and then real boxing on the undercard. Yeah, I get it. But all the stuff that Eddie Hearn has been saying, and you know, he's been spinning it in a positive light, as you would expect. Um, but I agree with it, to be honest with you. Because a lot of people who wouldn't ordinarily watch Billy Joe Saunders or many of the other fighters in the undercard, they're going to be watching him for the first time. It's an opportunity for Billy Joe, Devin Haney and everybody else on the undercard to showcase boxing to a super casual audience. Yeah, so I think it's uh, a great thing. And going forward, people like Devin Haney and Billy Joe Saunders, if they put on impressive and entertaining performances, they're going to get a lot of the uh, fans who tuned in to watch KSI versus Logan Paul. Their Twitter followers are going to go up. You know, again, if they put on entertaining performances, Twitter followers are going to go up and, you know, social media following and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it might not go up 50, 60%, but even if it goes up 5%, 10%, it's a good result. So it's all about exposure at the end of the day. I mean, who was on the undercard of Mayweather versus McGregor? They had some real fighters on the undercard. Obviously, Mayweather is a real fighter, but he was fighting somebody on their pro debut. It was a circus, Mayweather McGregor. But on the undercard, you had real fights. Actually, let, let me not say you had real fights, but you had real fighters on the undercard, not a bunch of people making their debuts. So yeah, I think it's good. Uh, a good platform for Billy Joe, a good platform for Devin Haney and everybody else. November 9th, Staples Center, live on the zone. It is what it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And obviously, Billy Joe is going to want to use this fight as a springboard to get bigger fights. And maybe he will. Because at the end of the day, it's all about your popularity. The more fans you can draw, the more... Twitter followers and social media followers and all that kind of stuff, that represents your value from a box office perspective to some degree. In fact, KSI and Logan Paul have proved that because they're two YouTubers with millions of subscribers. And so what does that translate to? That translates to millions of pay-per-view buys last time they fought. And this time around, it's going to translate to a hell of a lot of DAZN subscriptions. I don't know if it's going to do millions, but it's going to do a lot. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm out.